Royce, when you just look at this game, coming down the stretch, how are you guys able to pull out the win? Uh, I think just learning from the games, you know, we lost. Um, I mean, just executing down the stretch, uh, getting stops, and then, you know, getting a rebound and knocking down free throws at the end. You know, those are big time free throws and, you know, learning from those games that we lost and we was in the same situation, so. When the Rockets went on that run in that fourth quarter to make it a game, what was just the overall message as you guys were saying to each other as a team in the huddle? Uh, just stay composed. I mean, uh, basketball is about a game of runs. I mean, we knew, you know, they were going to make a run. It was just a matter of time. And then, you know, just sticking with our principles and, you know, getting the win down the stretch. When you guys say you learned from the last, these past few games, what exactly maybe helped in this one as they cut down to 20, down, down to 5, down to 1, and the turnovers, I guess, started adding up in that period? Uh, yeah, a couple, you know, rebounds that we got, um, you know, staying with it, going after the ball at all times. And then, you know, guys getting open, you know, to get the ball and knock down the free throws and, you know, where it caught. Do you see any commonalities in these fourth quarters where, you know, obviously it didn't happen in last against Minnesota, but these last games, anything you're seeing that's just challenging you guys or they're doing differently, other teams? Uh, no, not really. I mean, game by game is different, different game plans, um, different solutions, so. What kind of defensive energy did you come out with tonight to hold them to just 15 points in the first quarter? I mean, whether it was individual efforts or rotations, it all seemed to be working. Yeah, I think just us being connected as a team, uh, communicating, you know, locking in on the defensive end, getting stops when we need it. And then, you know, that helps out on offense. We can, you know, get easy transition baskets and, you know, boosts everybody's confidence. Do you think this team has a designated closer or is it more of a, you know, Ride the hot hand, down the stretch kind of do. Uh, I mean, yeah, we got. I mean, it just depends. Each game is going to be different. I mean, I mean, we got guys that you know get hot, knock down open shots. Sometimes it's the guy that's hot and that makes an extra pass for somebody else. So, I think it just depends, and you know the versatility. When you look at this one, I know the ending the fourth quarter didn't play out how you guys wanted it to, but just how good is it to kind of in that losing streak, get back in the win column, and then what can you take moving forward? Uh, I mean, it feels good. I mean, uh, you know, it was a tough stretch for us. I mean, we just stayed together, stayed with it, and, you know, took it game by game until we got one. And then just build on it from here on out, watch what we did good, and, you know, learn from our mistakes. So. We're less than two weeks away from the trade deadline now, and obviously there's some uncertainty surrounding this roster. Is there any challenge to tuning out that noise and just playing through that until that date passes? I'm about to go play 2K in F uh, FIFA, though. You can add me if you want me to. 2K or FIFA, which one? Whatever you want to lose. Yeah. <laughs>